All right, guys, once again, the rumor mill has been turning. And if these rumors turn out to be true, Transformer fans are going to be extremely happy. Check out this post from Silver Optimus. We have received some intel stating that Microsoft Studios is working on not just one, but two video game projects, simply named the Transformers. While we do not have any information at the moment, both projects seem to be targeting this year for the release. It is interesting that Microsoft Studios now owns Activision Blizzard. The company, prior to the acquisition by the tech giant, published multiple Transformer-related video games. Titles including Transformers, War for Cybertron, and its follow-up, Fall of Cybertron. There has been renewed fan interest for the aforementioned games in recent times. We will update you as we receive more info. So yeah, I completely agree. There has been a major renewed fan interest for the Cybertron games. And for good reason, these games are masterpieces. But these are just rumors, or is there... Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I've heard so many rumors and speculation at this point you just hand wave them all away. In fact, in the initial post it even says they really have no information. However, just a few days later we got an update and a new post with information that actually has some weight behind it. Because the Australian Classification Board has two new Transformer games listed, with Microsoft Studios as the production company and a production year listed as 2024. However, once again, we hit another snag, because both of these games have been rated PG, and the Cybertron games were rated T. So there's no way these two games are Fall of Cybertron and War for Cybertron. However, I actually have some information that could explain why these games are rated PG and could be our beloved Cybertron games. Quite simply, the Australian Classification Board has a different rating scale compared to the ARSRB. In fact, take a look at this. They only have three ratings, G, PG, and M. Why the ESRB has like five? I mean, if you look closer, they even say they're rated PG and they have things like scary scenes. The Omega Key is mine! If anyone can hear me, Starscream is... Ah! If anyone can hear me, Feel free to listen in as I execute your friends. No. Optimus, what's going on? I couldn't save them. Whew, doesn't it send chills down your spine? There was actually war on Cybertron. You get to see Autobots and Decepticons rip to shreds as you walk through the aftermath of a robotic bloodbath. These guys truly captured the war of Cybertron and the fall of Cybertron as you see the planet completely devastated and in ruins from the constant battles. However, scary scenes was not the only reason these games were listed PG. They also state that it's marked for mild violence? If that's what they called mild violence, I don't think I want to move to Australia anytime soon. But let's move on and discuss something else that's been rated for both titles. Online interactivity, which both War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron had. On top of this, Hasbro has been very outspoken ever since the Microsoft Activision acquisition went through. They want Transformer games back in the hands of consumers. Hell, they've even stated they wouldn't mind putting the games onto Game Pass. And it's not just Hasbro that's talked about older Activision titles. Phil Spencer has mentioned several times he intends to bring back some of these dormant IPs. And with the upcoming Transformers 1 movie right around the corner, now would be a perfect time to bring back what many fans consider the absolute best Transformer games ever made. Overall, I really hope these remakes are actually real and we get a chance to get our hands on these titles on modern hardware. How cool would it be if they released a combo allowing you to get both games packaged together? The Ultimate Cybertron Collection. Yeah, sounds like a dream come true. In fact, everyone should go to social media and let the powers that be know that we need these games to return. And it's not just me asking for this. Even Optimus Prime himself has a message for you all. I ask you. No, I order you. Help us in this dire time of need. Come on, Autobot fans. Don't let Prime down. 
And for you Decepticon fans out there, you should listen to Prime as well. Otherwise, you might get the hammer drop on you, just like Megatron. But let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. By the way, if you made it this far and did enjoy the video, let me know by dropping a like. And if you are new, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification. As for me, I got a lot of work to do, so I'm going to get back to the grind and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.